Well, okay, let's 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 get good news. Good news for everybody. So you can you can have some optimism and hope for your day. <laughs> Federal probe into Hunter Biden has reached a critical juncture and investigators are weighing possible charges. So I don't know, crack your beers, yes. order your pizzas, get your wings, have a celebration, kick back. Nothing's happened yet, but maybe Hunter Biden will actually be charged for being a criminal. Do you guys think that's actually going to happen? No. no. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad. But it's like sprinkling a little bit of hope yeah. in front of us. It's so nice. This like was, maybe there's going to be some accountability. I think well, we, what would happen even if he was, right? I mean, everybody's seen all the, I mean, we literally have video footage. You know, it's kind of like that old. I uh, feel better. You know, it's kind of like that old joke where they were like, how would you, what would, I think Dave Chappelle's one that did it. He was like, how would you agree that it was uh, R. Kelly actually did it? I'd have to have a video of his grandma pointing at him going, that's my baby. Like, there's countless videos of him doing co, uh, doing co crack, crack meth. weapons, oh strippers. That, the, the weighing meth video was like the funniest where he's like, Insane. he's arguing with the hooker about how much meth he's got on his scale. Is that meth or crack? I've heard both. Did you ever? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was it's meth. everything. It's I'm probably pretty, everything. A little bit of a lot Do you remember things. when Bush's daughters, like it was a big scandal because they were like buying alcohol oh, underage. Yeah. And now we have like Hunter <laughs> Biden who's like with his hookers weighing his meth. Like <laughs> well, what a country, what a time. And she's like, that's 20.7. He goes, it's 20.6. Oh, okay. Like I, she's trying to rip him off. I got, I mean, you got to charge. You At least she's a negotiator. You see yeah. the, was it the Babylon Bee that wrote inflation is so bad you can only buy <laughs> yeah, so. 20, you know, it was like you can only buy 2.6 grams of crack from what for you used to be able to buy 20.6 so or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he gets char- if he gets charged, it gives me a, you know, I go from having no faith in the government to having like point one percent. Yeah, faith in really. The government. Will he throw his child under the bus to to renegotiate faith? I think you know? this must be a crazy time to be his kids. I think one of his daughters is getting married. They're going to host her reception at the White House. Like, meanwhile, while she's planning that, we have like her dad's hooker and meth photos. The coming question out. is, like, oh, one of Hunter's uh, daughters. Yeah, one of Hunter's daughters wow. is supposed to be getting married. I think. I think it's one of the Biden granddaughters is gonna have a reception at the white house i assume soon before he has to maybe leave office uh but i think it's one of hunter's daughters and i just think like man that's your dad do you invite dad is he allowed to come to the wedding i don't know definitely invite him video chat if he's in jail you know like if you're hunter just word of the wise a word 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 from the wise hunter make sure your dad doesn't sniff your daughter yeah does he get to bring a date is the question Uh, what (laughs) allegedly (laughs) he must allegedly hunter calls his dad a pedo Mm -hmm. really that was so it's text. allegedly yeah they're yeah, reading his text messages leaked texts he refers to his dad as peter pedo peter which is honestly like if you think about it like that then you almost kind of have to have like he almost becomes a sympathetic figure like is he that hunter? messed up yeah. because I think, you yep. know i think joe oh. biden abused hunter oh for sure like how do you get a guy raising a family that wealthy to turn out the way he did with hookers and all these drugs because his his dad gropes and sniffs little kids publicly what does he do with them in private he was probably vacant a lot too being a politician li- working on the hill like he was always away at work his lifts his son his his son's mom and, and sister had died in the car accident when he was like two when hunter was two he's in the car with them so he lost his mom he lost his sister his brother actually died uh Bo biden yeah. from cancer a while back like a decade ago or something so Hunter, I mean, what a broken environment just from a, a top-down observation looking at that family. Yeah. Now that, then you add the personal stuff that he actually calls his dad allegedly pedo Peter. You don't just joke around about your parents being pedophiles. No. Unless he's not I don't know people that joke around about their parents being pedophiles. Yeah, I've never met weird. somebody like that. No, Unless I was he's not joking. Yeah, I always thought it was weird that during I think it was it must have been the 2020 uh, Democratic National Convention that they were highlighting all of his granddaughters really intensely and then all of a sudden they're like and his one grandson they're like we talk to grandpa every day and like we do this and like you know i obviously hope they have a very positive and healthy relationship with whoever in their lives but like they really really focused on these girls ignoring the fact that he had two sons they didn't really talk about any of his actual kids it's like they needed a fresh face because maybe everyone else like couldn't managed to swing a positive statement about Biden. It was just weird. You're talking about Joe, uh, Joe Hunter's daughters or Joe's? It, so he has like five grandchildren, I think. And I think it's, uh, or maybe four, but it's like two girls from Bo's marriage and then a boy and a girl from Hunter's marriage. The Tara Reid complaints so where she said he pushed her up against the wall and just basically sexually assaulted her in one of the cap, in one of the buildings over there on, on 
at the Capitol. And like the way he grabs women, and I'm talking about Joe Biden, has on video like grabbed women and smelled them. And sometimes you see the girls recoil, like that one redhead girl was like recoiling from it. I mean, very overtly, like w- making that face, like what is he doing kind of face. And you can hear him going like, give me some of that sugar. That's so <laughs> nasty. It's Gross. so just... I mean, that hard grab, you know? I mean, that's like an old 1950s smacker when she's like, if she's if you're angry, kind of come on, man. weird life. You got to give her a firm, open palm smack on the bottom. The Tara Reid stuff has to be investigated. I mean, it was so, her claims are so damning about what he did to her. I mean, dude, look at the guy. There's websites dedicated to showing him sniffing and groping and mm-hmm. debut, just like, a, it, 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 it's, it's abusive to children, you know? Truly, stuff. literally, what that girl was going through when that redhead what girl if? was, that was like a form of abuse. Remember when Joe Biden would say that, you know, I'd be at the pool and the kids would touch my hairy legs. I got hairy legs. Remember that stuff? Yeah. Someone made a meme and they said, uh, uh, what if Corn Pop actually was just a dude who saw Biden creeping on children and called him out? What's the Corn Pop story? Joe Biden said he saw a guy get up on a diving board or he's running or something and he said hey Esther stop running and the guy was like what did you call me and he called her Esther Williams or something so then the corn pop guy you know had a he had a razor blade you put it in a rain barrel get it all rusty you know and then Joe you know some, some guy told him to get a chain and fight him and then Joe said I apologize for calling you Esther man I shouldn't have done that and then the, the guy backed so off and it was a story he told at the pool and a bunch of people were like you know what makes more sense is that a young ish a young man Joe Biden was creeping on children because he's a, he's you know a creepo and this dude saw him and was like yo get out what the you know what i mean hmm. i mean biden told his stories like the kids would grab his legs it's, it's a creepy story anyway i got hairy legs the kids would grab my legs and they would rub them and the hairs would go straight that's what he said i think corn pop may have been like you leave those kids alone man <laughs> that's shout out to corn pop shout yeah. out yeah. yeah what if corn pop was the good guy he's the hero we needed the twist mm, that's yeah. the twist we, that's the twist we need I mean, I think Joe Biden's an abusive guy. I think he's a corrupt guy. I think he's crooked across the board. And it wouldn't surprise me if this whole sick thing is an act so that people think he's a bumbling idiot when he's actually just gutting the country. Regarding this story about Hunter Biden possible charges, what are these possible charges for? Tax uh, false st- tax violations or making false statements when buying a gun. Mm. He would have been prohibited from purchasing a gun because he admitted he has a drug problem. And that's what everybody was calling out. Like, you, you care about gun control? Start with arresting Hunter Biden, who lied in his gun form. Mm. We all saw it. And well, then he threw the gun in a dumpster. No, was it his, his, his wife? Somebody threw it in a dumpster. Threw it in a dumpster school. next to a school. Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? But that's yeah. always been the issue with when people are scream for gun control. Like, you've got, you've got gun control in place everywhere and there. You just don't actually enforce it. Mm. So what's another rule? What's another law? It's not going to do anything. But now that, I mean, I didn't know the thing about the pedo thing. I was, I was sexually abused as a kid. And so, mm. like, that has a, you know, that has a, a relatively profound effect on you for the rest of your life. And now, like, now you made me feel so bad for the guy. I'm like, man, Lord, what if he really does have all that issue and he's just been the probably scapegoat did. for this the whole time? Yeah, Hunter Biden was probably abused by his dad. I mean, I do think, though, that, like, people who suffer horrible things as kids still have some responsibility for the damage they cause as an adult. I, th- I absolutely agree with that. I'm a big person for personal accountability. But at the same time, like, for me, you know, it was, like, family members that did it to me. But they weren't setting congressmen. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a there's also like a level of I don't know if you're at that position or you're president. Like I've met a couple of presidents, and like it's weird. Like you get an it's almost like a presence about them, and so you add on top of the fact that they're your dad. That oh yeah, they're one of the most powerful men in the country too. Like what could he have got that guy to do? You know, what if he was just a scapegoat? And what if it was more than just uh, he was, you know, sexually abusing him. The mental side of it. Hey, you know what? You're going to do this. You're going to do this. I'm going to actually put you out as a pawn. So if anything bad happens, it's happening to you. It's not happening to me. But I'm still going to reap the benefit of all the deals that you make. I've heard that Jill and Hunter also do not get along at all. Jill, Joe's current wife, at you know, his Hunter's stepmom, yeah. basically, now this is hypothetically, just resents Hunter because not only does he remind Jill of his, his mother, Joe's first wife, and probably love of his life or something, but like Hunter's a an, a, a screw up, and yeah. so he's putting a bad name out there. So she's like, "Oh, and he's hurting Joe's reputation. I can't, you know." So, but in the text, he's like really vicious against her as well, which I imagine is another layer of stress, mm-hmm. family stress, personal stress. I have sympathy for him, but I don't doesn't condone the behavior. Yeah, I mean, I can sympathize with like 
victimhood, but nothing that he's done. You know, like, look, he's an adult man who has done really messed up things. That's 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 on him. It's a lot of it's too is nonviolent. So that's you got to take that into account too. Like oh, possession yeah, like, charges, you know, prostitution, drug charges. Like no one's dying. If people have been shown up dead. Oh, I was talking about talking. his illicit business dealings with foreign. That's government, actually you know? way bigger deal yeah. than right. the coke or the the drugs, in my opinion. Well, maybe that's why they go for the gun thing or this type of charge here, because we can say we convict you on something, or yep. we can we can go that, but we're actually going to ignore the really bad things that you did. They distract from the bigger issues and the illicit business dealings by lock, you know, give, and they'll give them a slap on the wrist. It'll be like, well, it's your first time and, you know, you're going to get a year probation or something. Yeah. And well, and I, I stand by Biden like, pardons them. Yeah. Well, I stand journals. by like, there's a bunch of kids, like there are young children. I mean, they're in their twenties or teens now, but like, remember that Hunter had an affair with Bo, like he was married and then he had an affair with Bo's widow. Like uh, there uh. are, your actions have tons of consequences. There are people who you brought into this world who did not choose to be the grandchild of a politician to be the the daughters and sons of like a guy who is you know I I want to be empathetic to what he might be struggling with but at the same time like this guy is destructive and he takes people down with him it seems like especially people who don't and he really deserve it, it. Yeah, yeah sure does yeah he yeah. just filmed but everything. he's really good at weighing math so it's it's, it's, good, it's yeah. almost like there's that uh, James O'Keefe meme where it's it's like a, a guy meets a hot girl and then immediately just says to her like so let me tell you about the co all the corporate malfeasance I'm involved in yeah and you wonder why it is like James gets these guys on camera like why are you telling them about these things you do at your job that's wrong it's so weird and Hunter Biden's like an inverse of that where he's like I'm doing something illegal better get my camera out. no what the heck better film it and put it on my phone the I mean, cloud in my laptop oh, it feels like a self destructive streak like, like where it's I'm like, trying to get caught like I yeah. keep I keep like. I you know I want to I want to make atonement right maybe he has a conversation with Jesus every night and he's like I'm really messing this up so I'm I'm trying to get what's supposed to come to me but they just won't arrest me no matter what I send them yeah leaving the laptop at, like he did that you could argue maybe he was drug addled and forgot it but that feels like self hatred and like he wants to take down Joe and he wants to expose it all but doesn't have the strength feels like he can't overtly do it I so don't he know. make it seem like an or accident. maybe he just knows nothing's gonna happen to him and it's like flaunting it in your face maybe. I'm gonna do whatever I want you can't do anything about it I'm protected by dad and we just can call it a day I think drug addled makes sense but he probably then, walked in and he was like hey, fix it he might have forgot that he left it there but. But drugs, most well, actually, I don't know. I can't speak for all drugs, so I don't I mean, know. If what he was doing meth, yeah, he was probably wired. Yeah, I don't know what he the, probably took that memory. whole computer apart and rebuilt it himself. <laughs> Maybe Biden's <laughs> kids are just very forgetful. I mean, he leaves his laptop. Ashley leaves her diary. Like they just are not good at keeping track of their belongings. Yeah, it's just very a stutter. They record everything. He just stuttered. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. That was a that's a All Joe right. Biden meme. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Come hang out live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Super chat. We'll even answer some of your questions. If you want to check out the after hours censored show, go to Timcast.com and become a member. We put those up Monday through Thursday at 11 p.m. They're very funny, not very family friendly. We'll love to see you there. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.